M0FXP, welcome to my channel. We've got ProScan running here on my Uniden SDS200 scanner and it's emulating the screen and all of the controls. If you look here in the green, you've got all the, the same controls that you've got on the device. Remember to connect it though, and I'll show you where to download. You just go to ProScan here and click download ProScan and July 2023, it's 21.2 and run it. You've got a 30 day trial if you like it then you can buy it. Now you do need to get the radio into serial port mode and that's fine, you just put the micro USB cable into the bottom right at the front, plug it into your PC which we'll do now and your radio or your scanner will give you the option of E or you can press the dot which makes it serial. So we just press the dot and that way in device manager you right click device manager and you'll have a port number. And it didn't need a driver on mine, so USB 10 there, USB serial device. And then we're all connecting, so everything that is that you can see on the radio and do on the radio, you can do with this software, and I'm guessing a lot more. Now, I haven't even begun to, to, you know, to decide what to do, but it's because it's scanning, it's actually saving in a long list here, any activity that it's finding. So we'll just, just go through here, look, history log, Recorder, source client, web server. So because of this software, you can plug into the Ethernet at the front, and then you can access it if you've got the, if you set it up correctly with your IP address and home IP address. You can set it all up and connect when you're out and about just using an IP number. Audio control, so you can really tweak what your you know the audio control. And remember, I the, I put this on 10 minutes ago and then I'll have a look here we can select all rows reverse selected rows find from database find and select replace rows and it does have very good reviews this software now I'm in the UK although I'm running as you can see I'm running software for the USA I'm in the UK because I'm waiting for my let's call it a code plug now to come for this device. If anyone's got one in the UK, send it me please. <laughs> but if we click system, we get the usual system selection at the top. Now we can turn the device on the actual radio scanner. Going through the system departments is the middle one. We can select that. Now, and also we can select it on the software. If you look here, I'm just scrolling. I've clicked the silver button. And you've still got your squelch, volume, yeah, adjusting the volume, squelch, and the shortcuts as well. If you press the silver and then hit your shortcut, it's all there, as you can see. I'm just selecting things at random here. I think we can, yeah, we can dim it. Replay, record, zip services. Yeah, we can put that in if we want to. We're not going to do that now. Let's go to the menu, see if we can come out of that. Back to menu. Tips, columns width, columns width and order can be changed by dragging the mouse over columns. Right click, let's just turn that down. Mm -hmm. Click there and we're turning it down using the software. So why not check it out? Um, you have to select the correct scanner when you log in. I've got that there. Click OK and then Comport. Of course, you need to select Comport 10, Set. You can refresh, auto detect. It does it all for you. It's really, it's very good software for connect for easy connection. View. You've got display, menu only, sizable, scanner only. All these different things. Tools. I'd like to look up the UK Google Maps. Maps lookup. How does that all work? Allow access. So is that going to give me, oh, I could put in my location. Well, the zip code I used, I actually can't remember. So let's just put USA, see if that does anything. Enter. Yeah. Okay, well, we don't have to do it now, but look, that has actually worked. We scroll out and there we are, USA. So you get this map and the, all favorites. 
We'll do like that. You know, anything to tinker with. What else are we clicking? At the top here. Favorites editor. So you can add favorites. Now I, I, I'm still learning how to add favorites. All right, because there's nothing in there. There's not much I can do at the moment. But once we've got more on there. Options. Display for color is sky blue. Display back color. Wow. Didn't realize we had so many colors to choose from. I'm just going to choose that one for fun. We've got a blue there. Active display border. Let's do a green. Active display back color. So what else? 24 hour time. Audio scopes are a green color. Didn't even know I had an audio scope. Opening database. Show hold button and mute button on display only and board only and borderless view types. Scroll bars. Date format. Okay, I'm going to apply that and click OK. I'm not sure if anything will change. So that's it for now. So remember, when you, once you download the software, plug it in, you'll have the options come up to select your COM port. You, if you need to change the board rate, you just right click Device Manager, double click your port, right click it, Properties. Go across the port and look, you can change it there. And I, I, I put it as 115200 because that's what was in the software. So there's your COM port and this, you can change it there. So anyone got advice on this, let me know. Looking forward to, to learning the STS200. Why, why get a scanner if you're a ham radio operator? Well, it's because you've got everything in one box and you just sit there and tinker with it all day. Yeah, we've got loads of radios here that will receive most of these frequencies. But this is also just a, a different way. There are other options here on the ProScan site as well. Screenshots, Google Maps, ChangeLog, all kinds of stuff. And there's something here, Source Client and Web Server Audio Streamer. I've, I've not used that, so I think we'll do that in a in a completely separate video, because I actually don't know what it is. It says Web Server, your very own website that streams audio and serves web. So we could actually be receiving stuff and stream it to people as well. And uh, so thanks, uh, thanks to ProScan, and uh, yeah, I've decided if I'm going to purchase it, but um, you know, I need more time. So thanks for watching my channel. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you're finding this helpful for the Uniden SDS200, and I'm sure it works on many other scanners as well. Bye for now, seven three.